Mel and JT score. Can you do that crap? Oh, she got the knees. We're good. We're reacting to the Turkish War of Independence. Okay, so I know a bit about this. Yeah. I know a bit about this. And in Arthur to history of principle of Arthur Yeah, yep. So, let's see. This is just a reminder. For us, yeah, and yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe there are things we might we, we might, might have missed in class, yeah. or there's someone that may not know about this, not a Turkish person, yep, yep, not yep, a Turkish yep. person. but like so, yeah, I just want you guys to yeah. know how powerful and you know, yeah. definitely, yeah, because I, I don't really pay much attention in history class, so <laughs> I might have missed a lot, yeah, and so it's better watching it from a video, yeah. Anyways, loot fan, please like the video, share the video, comment something nice, follow us on Instagram, mm -hmm. and let's get into the video. The Turkish War of Independence. 19th century was a time when so much changed in the world. One of these important changes was the gradual destruction of empires. One of these collapsed empires was the Ottoman Empire. When the Ottomans were Sorry, the... did the Ottoman Empire collapse or they separated? Mm, they separated. Wait, that means the Ottoman think... Empire. Sorry, mm. the Ottoman Empire were not really like the Turks. Um, the Turks were part of the Ottoman Empire. <laughs> that I looks think, like a small part. I think the Turks, the Turks were the major. What is it called? Part of the Ottoman Empire. Who were yeah. the other ones? Sure. I think these people were part of them. Greece. I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure about what I said. But... Defeated in the First World War, like many other empires. They made their exit from the stage of history. Wait, sorry. For the big, they made the their exit that? from the stage is of history. Is it like history. a story? No, no, no. The First World War, Anatolia and the Middle East now were suitable areas for colonization. Mm. They also entered the territory of Anatolia after the Mondros Armistice Agreement signed on 30th October 1918. The first occupation took place at 8th of November with the acquisition of Mosul and Turkey's invasion has accelerated step by step. The British, the French and the Italians seized many places, particularly the... Wait, sorry, these three, these three army seized different places, places. in Turkey. Wow. Italy, France, France and England. England. Traits ...to suit their interests. According to the agreement, all means of communication and transportation of the Turkish yeah. government and the arms of the army were confiscated and they were demobilized and retreated. The purpose of these operations was to prevent a rebellion from the Turkish people, Turkish government or army, while the occupations continued. The French invaded Chukurova and the western part of the southeast with the Armenian legions. The British... Yeah, with understand. the Armenians. I understand that, sir. The Armenians and the French people, and the French people. Yeah. Yeah. While the occupations continued, the French invaded Chukurova and the okay. Western. So, Stanis Chukurova is like a part in Turkey? In Turkey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Part of the south is with the Armenian legions. The, the British Armenian. seized the straits, important raw material points and ports. Also, Italians placed troops on the south and west coast of Anatolia. In additionally, the Anton states were also considering to establish a large Armenian state in the east and a uh -huh. Kurdish state in the southeast. Okay, the they nation. promised no. Greece the western part of Anatolia. Ah! Wow. Why? Uh, is that like why, is, like, why was Turkey made as the main <laughs> target that time, man? Wait, the Armenians, See, they promised this, they promised this <clears throat> land to the Greek people. Then the Italians occupied this. Then the French and the Armenians occupied this. Armenians occupied this. <laughs> wow. With the Paris Conference. Okay, the people, people who were disturbed by the occupations had already expressed their attitude. They occupied this place too. Yeah. The part of uh, Cyprus? Yeah, the, part, yeah. uh, uh, the Greek part, isn't it? This sounds like part. Um, yeah, not like, part. Is that? This is not part. This is um, what we call left here. Um, that last piece. Escalate. Escalate. ...the enemy in the southern regions and began to fight with the French and Armenians. On the other hand, the situation that mobilized the country in general was on May 15th, 1919, mm -hmm. when the Greeks stepped into Izmir. Hmm. That seemed to be the red line. The occupation was protested all over the country. 
The British were trying to calm the Istanbul government by saying that the occupation was temporary. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So what Spike did with it was when the Greek army came to occupy Israel, mm -hmm. one of the biggest or the most important cities mm -hmm. in India. I During the occupation, experienced commanders of the country held secret meetings in Istanbul. Mm -hmm. The favorite of these commanders was Mustafa Kemal Pasha, who was remembered for his achievements in Chanakkale. Mm -hmm. Mustafa Chanakkale Pasha, as a Chanakkale. lieutenant colonel, had promised to be a brilliant general, despite the defeat of the country in the First World War. Hmm. Mustafa Kemal Pasha, one of the army's okay, most... Okay, so was defeated in the First World War, or what? Yeah, we were part of the troops that were defeated in the World War, no, no, no. As a lieutenant colonel had promised to be a brilliant general, despite the defeat of the country in the First World War. Mustafa Kemal Pasha, one of the army's most active commanders on the battlefield, mm -hmm. and the rest commanders of the Ottoman Empire did not favor silence against these invasions, and during the reorganization of the remaining Ottoman army, Mustafa Kemal was sent to Samson on May 16, 1919, Samson. as an inspector. Mustafa Kemal Pasha, who set foot in Samson on May 19, with his trusted friends and officers, knew that the fire of freedom within the Turkish people would lead them back to independence. So I have a question, like, he's from Izmir, right? Yeah, born, yeah. As born. Is, was born in Izmir. Yeah. Could it be like he got really um, angry because of Izmir? Mm -hmm. Like, could not it could be, yeah, 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 that was his own yeah, was, was. Maybe. On 19th of May, <coughs> Mustafa Pasha began to implement the plan of liberation in his mind. <coughs> the expansion of the occupation by the Greeks resulted in the Turkish people fighting by forming militia forces in the West. <coughs> After the resistance started in the South, the struggle of the Turkish people also started in the West. <coughs> On the rise of occupations and the desperation of the Istanbul administration, Mustafa Kemal understood that something had to be done. Mm -hmm. And for that, on June 22nd, Amasya Circular was issued by Rauf Orbay, Commander Refet, Ali Fuat Pasha and Kazım Karabekir Pasha. Mm -hmm. This circular was the first official document of the Turkish War of Independence. Mm -hmm. Now the people were openly invited to oppose the enemy, the Allies. Mm -hmm. Although the British removed Mustafa Kemal from his post, they couldn't prevent him from leading the people. We he removed Mustafa whoa. Kemal from his post. The English people, they had that, that much like, power. Exactly, they were sent to the uh, Turkish army to remove. Answer to what is wrong with. Honestly, I wanted to say that. I don't have to show like, They just, be, they just go and capture anyway and, and just, like act like they are, what's it called? Like the, the, they are the ones. Yeah, the... And that's really bad of them, man. They did the same in Nigeria, too. <laughs> Wait, see this right, and we are still battling it. <laughs> Wait, the Italians actually occupied Antalya. Antalya. Wow. I didn't notice this. Just, I just noticed it now. They couldn't prevent him from leading the people. The call was answered by the public and among the remains of the Ottoman army. Mustafa mm. Kemal and his friends who passed from Amasya to Erzurum gathered a congress here, stressed the need to resist the enemy. At the same time, the commander of the Ottoman troops in Erzurum Kazım Karabekir Pasha stood next to Mustafa Kemal and was one of the biggest supporters. Mustafa Kemal passed from Erzurum to Sivas. In okay, September, so all those travels that I was doing was just was to like mobilizing you know, yeah, um, connection and stuff. Army and an army to, yeah. to go against the oppressors. Damn! One, two, three, four, five, man. Ima imagine I traveling. Mm -hmm. That would be like on a horse or something. I think horse, yeah. Damn! Another congress was held with the participation of participants from all over the country mm. and the decision taken at Erzurum Congress gained a national identity. Mm. Now the Turks were determined to resist the occupation. With a decision to gather the closed parliament in Ankara, Mustafa Kemal opened the National Assembly on April 23, 1920 and was elected president of the Anatolian government. The Turks then rolled up to their arms to maintain the resistance with a regular army rather than militia. The Turkish War of Independence was organized to fight against the enemy on three different fronts. <laughs> regular troops in the east managed to defeat the Armenians, while the west was trying to was form a regular to army when the Greeks' occupation okay. continued. The Armenians, the, while the, the west was like trying started. to form a regular okay, army. Wait, when so when the army started fighting, the ha, Armenians, when they started, ha, they started the pushing, Greek started occupying the space and stuff. The Greeks' okay. occupation continued. Afyon, Thus, towards the end of 1920, the Turks secured the eastern sides. At the beginning of 1921, 
while the newly organized troops under the command of Ismet Inonu fought with the Greek army, while the Turkish militia forces on the southern front harassed the French and the Armenians and brought them to the point of withdrawal. In July 1921, the Greek army defeated the Turks during the battles and threw them to the east of the Sakarya River. Now the Greek army was financially and morally supported by the British. What? Damn! You remember when they first occupied Izmir, they said something like it's just gonna be temporary. Yeah. That's what they all say like yeah, it's yeah, just temporary. temporary for a while. Yeah, for this as an opportunity, the Allied powers wanted to push the Greek army into Ankara and force the Turks to accept the Treaty of Severus. Also, the withdrawal of the Turks gave them hope. Things weren't going too bright for the mainland government. The enemy was very close to Ankara and could not be stopped. The Istanbul government tended to see Ankara as responsible for what happened. If the Turkish army in Anatolia could not stop the enemy, things would be worse for the Turkish state than Kalkini. The president of the Ankara government, Mustafa Kemal Pasha, took over the command of the army mm. and Battle of Sakarya, which started at August Whoa. 23rd, and the Sorry, so just like a commander changed yeah. the whole story. He started pushing them back. Damn! What kind of what kind of courage? What kind of courage or like um what of you understand could yeah. you like put in the mind they, of the army? They taught us that they say something like you must be ready to die. But I'm not saying this, I'm ready to die alone. There's a way he said it's like, Yeah, yeah, yeah I can't remember. You guys be ready to fight, <laughs> yeah. or I'll be by your side. No, it's different from the kind of commanders that will tell you just go and die. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But he's yeah, gonna yeah. tell you, Okay, I'm going to be there with you guys. So it's not like it's not like there was an, maybe like an increase in army in or army, something. It just, just changed. It's just about no, the I'm, I'm guessing, of course, they will reinforce. Like yeah. after retreating, of course, like you cannot just. Yeah. Go out with the same tactic and yeah. like the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not like considerable number, like of course, they don't put the army or anything. That's yeah. insane. With the victory of the Turkish army on September 13th, this was a turning point for the Turks. Mm -hmm. After this great victory, the Italian and the French realized that the Turks would win the war and they gradually began to withdraw from Anatolia. Oh. The Ankara government reassured itself with its victory. And instilled True. great hope. This, this okay. time, Ankara was was the main yeah the main target. Capital, what? Yeah, well, no, Istanbul was the capital. Then. Was the capital? But you know, like I, to my own knowledge, you know, Ankara is like at the middle. Mm -hmm. So I think what these people were targeting were to like was get to Ankara, Ankara. but totally like preventing it from. Are you sure Ankara was in the capital? For salvation. The Greeks lost their ability to attack after their defeat and went to defense to protect their territory. But the Turks did not want to leave even one enemy in their territory. Why are they saying their territory? territory? I don't understand. But the Turks did not want to leave they, they even one this enemy place in their territory. Their preparations for a year. And this time, they would fight to the end. Oh, they made On 26 they made August for a year. Hmm? They prepared for a year. Hmm. Imagine, every day. <laughs> 1922, the Battle of Dumlupunar started. The war ended what? on 30th, 1922. The Battle of Dumlupunar started. <laughs> the war is. ended on 30th of August with oh. the overwhelming victory of the Turkish side. From this date, the Turks attacked on a wide line and drove the Greek army towards the shore. Ah. On 9th of September. Oh. Ah, yeah, yes. this is when they said, um, I, I thought so. Three like Greek uh, uh, out of out the, of into uh, the, into the sea. Oh, yeah, that was when they were making jokes that um, Greek people can swim. Uh, very mm -hmm. good swimmers. Uh. Mir was liberated from the occupation, and the Greek army, as the Turks called it, got poured into the sea. <laughs> After the withdrawal of the occupation forces on the shores of the Barbara, still there. in October 1922, a ceasefire agreement was signed between the Allies and the Turks. Okay, so you know what? You know what? I'm sorry. British, those guys are. They're British, just like. Um, to be honest, uh, they they push you mm. to do. They they are not they are not they are they're not, not strong. Exactly, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, and all of that. But they're they're like they like they're just like like trying to hide under the strong guy. Yeah, like yes. trying to be on the winning side. It's more. They are like really they they work with their brain brains. Right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The way they occupy, they just. They don't fight you to occupy your Yeah, when they notice the, like the Greek ones, are they, ones they're 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 to they 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 they
the war of independence ended with Turkish victory, and the straits and the threats were yeah. given to Turks without a fight. Mustafa Kemal Pasha, who led the people in this war, turned to diplomatic victories after lifting so I have a the question, Sultan. Right? I have a question, like, the Italians occupied Antalya, right? Mm. Like, this part of Antalya, there will still be, like, Italians here, right? Yeah, I they think should so. be, they should be, they should be. I feel like all at least mixed Italians. Yeah, because I think um, Izmir, yeah. I think Izmir, they are, they, I think there are some like Greek, Greek people, Greek people in Izmir. And I think they might be mm. Erdinet. I need to go English, to Erdinet. British people rather. Yeah. Hmm. Ultimately, yeah, the, the French Republic people, was yeah. proclaimed on 29th of October 1922. Mustafa people Kemal people. Pasha, who later took the surname Ataturk, was elected the first leader of this new regime and state. Okay, okay. That's talking for you that guys. Was, that wow. was some. Did you hear the Disney march at the end? And state. Wait, I think we have a bad habit of now. Let's in case there's something. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Okay. That was that was educating, right? Yeah. That was, that was crazy. Crazy. Five freaking countries. The Greek. It felt like a movie. The Italian. <laughs> I like this guy. That's real life. life. It felt like a movie. Wow. After two, like I'm still surprised how, like, just the what change, the change thing? exactly change in the commander will just, you know, because I think they were losing to the Greek. Yeah, at some point, then just the change, in yeah, to Ankara. Ankara. Then change in the commander, just yeah, change the change whole story, everything, right? Change everything. Wow, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. That's some. That's some I, crazy I, crazy I, there's, 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 there's something I know about. Um, what's it called? I don't know. Yeah. Um, like they said, not they said. Like he, he, he doesn't just fight with like his courage and strength and all of that. Mm -hmm. He also like he's very, very, very smart. Mm -hmm. Like even from school. Yeah. Even from school and everything when he was young mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I guess that also played a part in a part mm -hmm. in like in the victory, mm -hmm. like based on like his tactics Strategy and, and stuff. And stuff. Yeah. Because I think sometimes your strength is not enough for a war. Sometimes, sometimes it's not. It's not just about being courageous. You know, sometimes yeah, courageous kills. Um, cor yeah, courage. Courage. Cor courage kills you sometimes. Sometimes just, just courage. Sometimes you have to retreat and fight back. You have yeah. to move to fight another day. Yeah. You just yeah. don't rush into a battle because you feel you have the soldiers. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. That's true. I'm sure many troops have lost battles because, because of that. Because of that. Yeah. Ishtar bu arkadaşlar, the war. Of the Turkish War of Independence, the War Independence. Yeah, if you guys enjoyed this one, I want more. Please just you know comment something down below, yeah. and we'll react to it. But we will learn more. Yeah, and also smash the subscribe button. In it. Like the video. In it. Comment something nice. nice. Follow us on Instagram. Yeah. Join the membership platform. And to see next time, guys. Peace. peace.